they are all female. We'll give them live food for them to be ready to lay eggs. Hey guys, good morning once again and you are here at Dexter's World channel. I'd like to thank you for following us and for keep on uh, watching our videos and uh, I'd like also to give you an update today about our goldfish. As you can see here we have new tank and I have breeder goldfish that has been groomed and conditioned to lay eggs. I'd like to show you some of our breeder. So they are here and uh, you will note that this tank is just shallow. What we will do in the next couple of weeks, we are going to breed these goldfishes. They are adult ones. Some of them are 8 months and the others are already 1 year old and they are really very ripe for breeding. They are good actually breeders because their strain have produced so many good quality of rye. I'm showing this to you because this is a an advanced information of what we're gonna do next week about this goldfish. Yesterday we uploaded a video on how to grow calico fry or goldfishes faster. I am glad that we engaged in a discussion about what we gonna do with the deformed goldfishes and someone said you're cruel enough to feed this to the flower horn and many also have reacted that no it's the, it's just that natural thing to do a culling and save the ones that are in good shape in good condition well, we are divided in our opinions about this, but for us breeders, we know that yes, it's uh, important also to save our space and this is the hardest part in breeding actually. We have to let go of this deformed uh, fishes because they cannot be sold in the pet store because they have deformities. So this is business and I understand that many of those who view their channel said that you don't have the right to take the life of these goldfishes. But anyway, although uh, that's your opinion, I respect all opinions and you are free to comment whatever it is that you want to comment. You feel free to voice out your comment. This is a free channel. You are free to comment. Yesterday, we also have got more battles. I also made an additional rocks for our betta fish and I decided to just demolish my chicken coop because I'm not using that anymore and I am converting this to fish pan. I'm giving more space to our breeding because I understand that there are more people who really wanted to know about breeding of these uh, ornamental fishes. So our breeders are here. Okay. So they are here and they are all female actually but their tummy hasn't have eggs yet because we will condition this for two weeks. We'll give them live food for them to be ready to lay eggs. So these are all female goldfish. The males are here. We haven't yet separated the male from the female. It's really good to separate our goldfish for us to control the breeding because once you're going to mix all of them then they will be breeding at, at dawn and you will not be able to control what the type of goldfish you wanted to breed so you have to breed this intentionally we are not cross breeding actually we are just uh, breeding oranda to oranda we have the mickin to the mickin we have pearl scale to pearl scale because you cannot breed lion head or cross lion head to the pearl scale 
By the way, this orandas will be removed out of this tank because some of them are already good for our pet store. I guess that we can harvest more or less 300 good quality of this broadtail calico oranda for our pet store today. And I'm also planning that we will take them out from here. I will make this place as a tank for our female breeder goldfish. So I'm going to separate. The female will be placed in here and the male will stay here. In the next video, maybe we can show you the actual breeding of these goldfishes. Allow me to just check our Japanese koi because as what I've said in my previous videos that we're gonna use this tank for our Japanese koi and let me check first if our female koi is now ready to lay eggs one morning I think this female is now ready to lay eggs okay, we'll put this in this aquarium that we can estimate this is already good for breeding. Wow. Come on, come here. I'll check your tummy if you're ready due to deliver your eggs. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. So this is a female, a pregnant one. So we're going to separate this one so that we can give more live food and control the feeding. We'll give 90% protein food to this boy. So the baby is bulging and they are there. So another one we have this. This is the female that is ready to lay eggs. If you will touch the belly, it's soft then. It's already due to lay eggs. But I'm... Okay. This is the female. You look at the bulging tummy. Oh. What about this one? This one is another good way to breed. Okay. These are all pregnant females and they will breed next week. This female will be the first batch of koi to be bred. We're putting this separate from the male to have an eagerness to be with the, the male. This is my technique. We will separate them and then we will give them live food. We are controlling the food. We will update you about next week how we're gonna breed this one. We will use the tank and all the beta fishes there will be transferred to the new place that we have prepared for them so come on let's take a look at this uh, new place for a beta so we demolished our chicken coop to have a bigger space for our fish I really decided to expand our fish tank so that we can breed several varieties of this uh, tropical fish we'll proceed to new place for our beta fish So this is my new place for our beta. We are expanding our breeding and these rocks will accommodate I guess more than a thousand of beta. So we'll update you about this. Then we have one, two, three, four, five layers. So this is a business actually. I hope that I have encouraged everyone to just uh, think about doing these things for 
your additional income to mend your income and to have a good business out of breeding these ornamental fishes so that's all for today that's the update that we can share to you today and i hope that you will continue to like and share our videos and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed on the here at dexter's world